I can't believe it. It's finally that time. SETI Skylines 2.0 is here. And ladies and gentlemen, you guessed it right. We're starting a brand new series. New game. Whoa. Which map are we going to pick for our brand new series? Which, by the way, only exists if you press on the like button and share this video and comment. Archipelago Haven. Barrier Island. Great Highlands. Oh, they all look kind of good, don't they? I kind of wonder what's different in this game compared to City Skylines 1. Because that one's kind of old now. Barrier Island kind of looks like it could be New York. It actually says the theme is North American. The climate is between 10 and 29 Celsius, which is this many Fahrenheit's in case you don't understand. And you know what? This might actually be an amazing map for our brand new series. Here we go. City name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Greenfield. Oh, yes. The theme is going to be North American, but we'll be placing European and American buildings. It's going to be right-handed traffic, not left-handed. Sorry. Natural disasters are turned on. That's right. Tornadoes and hurricanes are going to come and kill us. We are not going to cheat using unlock all or unlimited money. And we're going to disable stupid tutorials. Let's start the game. Now, in case you're new here on this channel, subscribe. This is going to be a mega, mega series and only exists by you guys. But here we are. Why is it raining, bro? I was promised something cool. Okay. There's our island. That looks amazing. Look at the clouds. Hello, clouds. Let's have a look. Is this our map? Oh, we can't actually have a look at our map tiles yet oh there's a boat there's a boat hello boat it's a passenger ship we can edit its name okay greenfield is gonna be here on this big barrier island we're gonna have beautiful beaches which don't have any sand can we import the sand please all right enough chit chat it looks like we've got we've got power from outside oh wait a minute that's cool so we can actually trade electricity we can basically buy it from somewhere else oh i like it now, no city exists without roads. So that's exactly what we're going to start with. I don't have that many things unlocked yet, but I guess we're going to extend our main road over here. Bleep. Wow, that's our first road. Now, in the future, I want this highway to continue into a highway, so we got to leave enough space. Well, let's continue it a little bit more. There you go. Oh, wait, what? Roundabout? Oh, put a roundabout down. And simply... <gasps> Oh, change direction. Look at that. That's pretty, eh? Oh, we can go into this direction as well. Look at that. This roundabout. <laughs> it generated exits and everything. It looks perfect. We got a little crossing. Nice. Oh, wait, what? There's already an existing bridge here as well. That's cool. Now, over here on this side, I want to have industrial. A city doesn't work without factories, guys. We have to pollute the area. I am sorry. I am not obeying to the name Greenville, am I? It's not what it means. It just means that I love the color green. That's that's about it. All right, there you go. Our road network is looking pretty cool. I guess that's enough to start with. Now, before we actually use our residential zones, commercial zones, and industrial zones... Oh, wait, there's water here. We are going to have to connect water. <clears throat> How does this work? Okay. Oh, whoa. The streets, uh-huh, have pipes inside of them. It kind of looks like they're glitching a little bit. Not gonna lie. Oh, I should I should probably mention, I am still on the early access mode, which means by the time I'm recording episode one of Greenville, uh, Greenfield, sorry, the game's not actually out yet for me, so there could be some glitches. Okay, we got a water pumping station over here. What about a groundwater pumping station? Okay, all right. That's clean, right? That's clean. There we go. A groundwater pump. <laughs> Bumping, bumping. There we go. There you go. It's connected. I'm pretty sure it's just going to suck water up and put it into our roads. But it doesn't have electricity. Okay, how does that work? So the electricity also goes underneath all of the roads. This is connected. So a transformer station is what I need. Okay. So let's place one of those, uh, I guess, right over here. Is that going to work? And then we've got electric cables, which we can use to feed our city. Is, is that is that how this works? Let's try. Boom. Is that connected? That is connected. Do we have electricity? Ha ha ha. I think we do. Yes. All right. Now, is is this making any noise? Noise pollution negatively affects. Now, it, this is not making that much noise. It says low. So we have water. We have electricity. But we need sewage before we can start asking people to move in. Oh, where are we going to release our poop? Oh, that's, that's up. That's, oh, that's, this is going to be a giant poop river, dude. Okay, we're just going to have to connect our sewage pipe. Okay, is that going to work? To the underground one. Yes, okay. Make sure it has some electricity. I don't think it needs electricity. Does it need electricity? I don't think it does. Chemical purification for 12,000. Oh, okay. Invalid shape. 
Well, okay, I, I don't really understand this. We'll figure that out later. Now our city, it's still raining, should be ready for our first residence. Now, where are we gonna have our first residence? Which, by the way, is going to be the president. That's right. Okay, I added some more roads, and I think this right here is a perfect area for our first resident. The president. All right, a North American house. I can't center it, can I? Oh, that's centered. Oh! Wait, no, 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 that's two houses. Stop building, stop building. I just want to see who's going to move in first. Oh, oh my God, we got an actual crane and stuff. Oh, we got a street name. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know we had street names. All right, this is going to be President Lane. And the president is going to be... It's a senior that lives here? I am confused. All right, while we're waiting for our first resident, let's add some commercial. Wow. We've got some stores, guys. We've got some stores. This one's called Bell and Cog, and this one's called Piloty. No employees yet because our president hasn't moved in yet. We need the president, guys. Can we please get the president to move in? Okay, let me just quickly work on our industrial section. It's also muy importante. I could be a Spanish YouTuber, you know? I'm very good at Spanish. So you might be wondering, Jilly, what are you doing, man? Well, I'm gonna have to do some landscaping over here, guys. You see, industrial areas will have ports. And uh, this is gonna be a small industrial area. Oh, but it'll have a port. Look at this. Oh, this is great. Oh, that looks good. That looks great. And what we'll do is we'll add one here as well. This one is slightly wider. Hopefully this is not gonna create any like tsunamis or anything like that. Wow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. President, president, president. Oh my God, that's a nice house, Prezi. He lives on one president lane. Uh-huh, but where is he? Can we please meet Mr. President? I'm not gonna wait forever for him to come out. We'll find out who lives there later, but in the meantime, we can fill up the rest of our streets with housing. Look at that, look at that. Wow, it's truly incredible. Right, I don't wanna like overdo it, so I'm not gonna like connect all of the houses together. I think it'll create a nicer look if we keep some of them a little separated. Like for example, here in the back alley, we can add a pavement. Do we have that? Pavement? Pavement? Where's the pavement? Oh, pathway. Yes. Yes. Now that's very residential if you ask me. And you know what? North American suburbs also kind of have this. You even have it in Grand Theft Auto. Just saying. Okay, the water looks like it's stabilized. So I guess we can start adding some of our um, industrial. Because if you look at our demand chart... We got a lot of demand. This is gonna be a factory. This is gonna be a factory. Yeah, this is gonna be very polluting for the area. I'm sorry. The good thing is, if you look at the wind chart, the arrows are pointing into this direction. So for now, this industrial uh, area is not going to pollute our residents, including the president. Okay, so I do want to connect this area with the industrial zone. However, I saw that we've got a pedestrian street. Now, I kind of want to reduce traffic as much as possible. So this means our workers, who all live over here, could walk to where they live and work. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Private vehicles are owned by citizens. We've got our first vehicle! Because we still have zero residents living in. Oh my god, people are moving in. Can we please find out where the president lives? Oh my god, look at all these houses. It looks good. It looks good. Well, I really liked it that we split these up. When they're all connected, it makes it look a bit messy. Maybe we can fix that later. We've got Rachel Rachel Weatherly here. Have you moved in yet, Rachel? Because I kind of wonder where you're going, okay? Taking that camper uptown. Oh, but that, that was kind of like the wrong way around. Why didn't she just take a right lane there? Oh, we got a, beer. We got a person. We got a person. Hello. Moving in. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Why did this person just <laughs> drive circles? Again? Hey, man. <laughs> We got a dog! Oh! His name's Precious. I still don't know who the president is. Uh, the president lives here. This is his house. We just we just acknowledge that, okay? We'll have to upgrade the house later. We're gonna protect the house with some uh, beautiful pavements. Look at that! Hey, wait. Building is in the wrong zone or outside the zoning grid. No. No, 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 no. Is that better? Oh, my God. I almost broke it. Oh, wait, wait. The Emerson family lives here? Nah, 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 nah. And his name is oh, oh, Liv Emerson. Nope, we're gonna change that name to President Dork. 
that's who lives here. President Dork lives here. The Emerson family, the Founders family. There you go. The Founders family lives here and they're employed at this store. <laughs> Can we find out? where they are right now? They're inside of this house. I guess they're visiting some friends. Okay, that's cool. Our city is starting to take shape, guys. It's really working. We've got a giant residential demand. Are people taking our pedestrian lane yet? Nope. I think we're gonna have to build a lot more than I guessed. We're gonna have to build around the president's house. I'm sorry, president. El presidente. They're gonna be small little homes, okay? So yours looks rather big. Our residents want some more commercial things. So I guess we'll add that. We'll add some small little shops. I feel like we gotta be careful with how fast we want the city to grow. But I want the city to really work out. You see, we only have this amount of money and we're losing money every hour right now already. Oh, what? I've got like Twitter over here or something. Nice. Look at all those cranes, people moving in, let's go. Okay, we need to uh, we need to find out how we can get more people in. Okay, look at that. It's for our industrial area. What I'm gonna try is make sure that all the trucks from our industrial area don't go back over um, the city road, but instead take the exit to the highway immediately. That should be possible this way. Okay, I think we can remove the electricity lines because I believe it's connected to the street now. Yes, good, good, good. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing for the incoming trucks. Oh, can we build a, build a tunnel? Oh, wow. Yes, that's perfect. Ha ha ha! So we've got the highway with trucks coming in over here to our industrial area and they can leave again using the highway. They don't even have to pass our residential area, which by the way, look at this. It looks amazing. And I love that all the homes look kind of different to our presidential home. And I still haven't met the president yet. I think we're gonna run into the president soon though. We don't actually have any industrial demand, but I'm still gonna add more because uh, we're also gonna add more other things. Just zone it out. That was kind of bright. We just fixed it like that. Ah, uh, that's a lot of industry. Let's go back to our little neighborhood. Can we add shops to the pedestrian lane? That's amazing. That is actually cool. Okay. Look at that. We can add stores to our pedestrian lane. I'm not sure they're gonna perform because people would not be able to drive to the shop, but that's the whole point, okay? We already wanna start thinking about traffic and reducing it as much as possible. Okay, let me just add some pedestrian roads. Oh, we got a milestone! We've made $600,000, that's a lot of money. Uh, we're now a tiny village and we got points. Okay, uh, whoa, we unlocked so many things. Map tiles, city budget, city statistics, medium density housing, roads, whoa, all kinds of different roads, healthcare, garbage management. Oh, this is what I've seen as well. And we unlocked one development point, which we can spend on what? I guess the crematorium. <laughs> Just spent it like that. Why is it always raining in this stupid city? Uh, I already feel like the president is living in the wrong spot. <laughs> I've got actual information about our president here. He's educated, employed at Biofuel, okay. Born May 2018. That means he's five years old and wealthy. Of course he's wealthy. This is Greenfield, everybody. All right, well, we only have 56 people living here, but I do think we got to spend some of that money that we made from um, stuff. Whoa, what? This is huge. This is a medical clinic. And look how big it is, bro. I feel like our city is too small already. Okay, so our medical clinic could be over here somewhere, but I don't exactly wanna, um, I wanna make sure that the traffic can still flow. Uh, where is a good spot? Walking to a medical clinic maybe isn't the greatest idea, right? Technically, we could put it here because the pedestrian street still allows service and delivery vehicles. Now, pretty sure a medical service is a, is a service vehicle, right? Okay, this might be a really dumb idea, guys, but we'll find out. Our medical center. Whoa. Okay, I definitely agree. It doesn't really make much sense that we've got parking here. <laughs> if we turn this into a roundabout, it's gonna destroy those buildings. Like, we could just... We might as well just make this a main road, right? We might as well. Sorry, pedestrians. Sorry. We'll try again somewhere, somewhere in the future. We've got a medical center! Okay, Greenfield is doing well. We got upgrades, an ambulance depot, and an extension wing? Okay, I don't think we need that right now. I don't think we need the extension wing. I, I, I would like an ambulance though. The ambulance is good. What is this? Oh, garbage management, landfill. Bro, we're gonna have to put this far away from our city because that's, that's nasty. What if we put the landfill like on this side? Oh, wait, I can unlock tiles, of course. It might not be a bad idea to unlock over the bridge first. We've got a lot of space here. Let's do that. We bought a couple of tiles, three of them. That means we now own the bridge. 
And the only reason we did this is because we're gonna create a landfill area. Now, I don't really know what this intersection is, to be honest. What have I done? What is this? This is a giant mess. But we'll pretend it's okay. Landfill. That's nasty, eh? What is... Bruh. I hope that doesn't float into the water. Oh my god, that's disgusting! There you go, everything should be working now. We've got a landfill area, great! What happened in the demand chart? Medium density residential demand! <laughs> Does that mean skyscrapers, or is it like smaller than that? We already gotta expand our main road, guys! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that looks good! Now remember, this will turn into a highway into the future. So we're gonna have to make an exit and build over there. We could definitely connect these areas too, to be honest. In this area, we are gonna work on our medium density. Look at that, beautiful. We've got a small street, and then on both sides, and I think in the middle, perhaps, we could place a roundabout, and then simply fill the middle up with alleys, corner them off with small little roundabouts. Whoa, that actually looks really good, doesn't it? Before we zone it, we make sure that pedestrians can, oh, whoa, what happened there? Okay, that was definitely a glitch, it removed my roundabout. Wait. Pedestrians can't access roundabouts? Okay, that seems like an issue. That is weird. Well, I guess then we do it like that. We just fix it. It's important people can walk everywhere. So before we place buildings, always place alleys. Look at that. That's pretty good. And then we fix the demand. Medium density housing right over here. Something I don't really like in this game right now is how it messes with the zoning. Look, I gotta remove this to make it look a little bit more symmetrical. So they're not the same, even though I built pretty much symmetrical, it's, it's not fair. And then these blocks over here could be simple commercial blocks. Oh, we've got people moving in. How do we only have 63 people living here right now? This is going very slow. What's happening here? Condemned? Don't really understand. We have some more complaints. Oh, we got giant complaints. Lack of labor? Cannot find enough employees. Is it like perhaps too far away or... What about you? Are you doing well? Yeah, this is great. The medical clinic, it's got 106% efficiency. The garbage center, 20% efficiency. Also cannot find employees. All right, we'll have to work on that. One thing I can think of for the industrial center is a cable bridge. Pedestrian uh, area, I guess. Or another type of bridge. Oh, that's cool. Oh... It's not centered, is it? It's very difficult to get things perfectly centered in this game. There you go. That looks good. We remove this one. Oh, look at that. Okay, we've got a little pedestrian bridge over here. Hopefully, some people will walk towards their uh, their job. Now, I did choose a North American map, so technically, maybe they won't do that. Look, we got a lot of incoming traffic, though. People are moving in. We've got 100 citizens. Greenfield's doing great. Is the president still here? President? Oh, we got a gas station. Other people moved in here. Where's our president? Oh, no. Did our president already move? Move out? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! This area is starting to look amazing, guys. Our medium density area? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Look at all of that. This actually does look like New York. Except I hate street parking. I, I kind of want to fix that. But this area looks great. We've got more commercial demand. So I guess on this block, we can add some commercial lots. We've got some other stores over here. Look at this. Almost meat. I guess it's vegetarian. Teak stool. They sell chairs? <laughs> Right, this is a great neighborhood. This is great. What do we need to unlock the next village? XP. Okay, that's gonna unlock, um, I guess, education. Because our uh, demand for employees is kind of concerning me, I'm gonna add something here. We're gonna add a little, uh, we're gonna add a little neighborhood. There we go. The streets are in place. I guess we'll do low density housing. Makes the most sense for this type of area. Ooh, look at all of those factories, guys. That is looking slightly concerning. There will be a lot of pollution there. Oh yeah, we need we need trees here. We definitely need trees. I kind of want to hide this. The traffic is working though, huh? Look at that. Let's have a look at this panel over here. We don't have everything unlocked yet, but do we have do we have pollution unlocked? Can we look at pollution? Water pollution. Yeah, okay, I get it. I mean, yeah, we're we're literally pumping poop into our uh, ocean. Noise pollution. A lot around the landfill, but that's okay. Ground pollution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, air pollution. Nothing. Maybe it's not far in enough yet. Whoa, look at the ship, bro. Whoa. Well, I can't wait to unlock a cargo port. What are you complaining about? Lack of labor. You know what? People are just gonna have to live here. The cheapest housing in our green field will be here. I am so sorry for everyone wanting to move in here. <laughs> You'll just work at the landfill. That's your job. Born and raised. Waiting for a hearse. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We forgot about the cemetery. Whoa, this thing's massive, dude. What? Okay, that's not good. 
Do I have space for this? Can I put it here? That is amazing. What a beautiful building. Look at this. Where do I even put that? Should we put it here? It'll remove some housing. Oh, it's very expensive. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna put it right over here. Oh, yes! <laughs> Small village made $700,000. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Two points and four points. Oh, we unlocked taxation, education, elementary schools and high schools. Great. We've got two development points that we can already spend on something. I don't really know what. Uh, advanced road services. Yes. The next thing we're gonna get is highways, guys. That's great. Let's save that last point we got and finish our cemetery build. I guess here we'll use the pedestrian alley. Is that is that a bad idea? It's kind of nice, you know? It's not nice and calming for people who want to go and grief. I mean, it looks good. It looks good there. I want to add more detail though, but detail takes time. Okay, so these trees really need to be placed quite far away from each other. But we'll add some birch. We'll add some birch. It makes our cemetery look a little bit more professional, you know what I mean? There we go. I really don't know what to think of that. <laughs> it exists. What's this? Road services. What? Road maintenance depot? Traffic lights. Oh, we got to turn them off there. Crosswalk. Oh, oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, we don't need that many. Look how many we got over here. <laughs> but it slows cars down, so sometimes it might be a good thing. Let's remove traffic lights there. But we add a stop sign. Cool. Wide sidewalk. Grass. Oh, instead of parking, it'll be grass. It's light lighting? Oh, we have that already, though. Trees. Oh, yes. Okay, it removes parking, which could cause issues. I'm not too sure. Yeah, look, people now park on the big street. Not really sure what I think about that. But it makes this area more friendly. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of parking on the streets. Great, great, great. Um, We unlocked schools, guys. We unlocked an elementary school and a high school. Now, I'm, I'm going to have to place these, but we've got a lot of demand, low density and medium density. I really, really like this neighborhood that we built over here. Much more than this one. This one kind of sucks. I kind of feel like... Like changing the president house like maybe one day we'll unlock a um, a cool house that actually looks like the white house and we place that in a nice area for now we're gonna keep this so i don't want to mess with this area can people walk on these alleys yes yes they can okay good good just checking i think right over here we can unlock um something for a school right here so that means we can actually start making use of these bigger roads and fill it with medium density why not a bit cheaper to live there you know but it is what it is here we go i put some more roads down that should work you know and what we'll do is we'll create we'll connect this one in a different direction like that see this one was uh i guess straight and this one sideways makes it look a little different okay that's similar isn't it <laughs> i like it i like these little cool neighborhoods okay we're gonna do the pavement slightly different the thing is, right, the, the roundabouts were rather glitchy, so they look a little stupid, not gonna lie. Okay, that's our pavement. Um, is that good? Is that good enough? We've got giant demand, so let's fill this area up. Medium? Whoa, that is a lot. And then, wait, we got two different types of mediums. Row housing, that's the one we used previously, I guess. Like that? That's good. That's great. We could fill this area up with some commercial lots, which, uh, should work, I guess. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, these are huge! Those are some huge apartment buildings! Making these houses look rather small. I'm, I might have to up those in uh, density, but we'll, we can fix that later. Wow, this, this really is starting to look good, guys. Uh, we have industrial demand as well. I think we can actually still upgrade this area. I don't want this area to be too big. Like, I'd rather add a second industrial area if, if this is not gonna work out, you know? Oh, we unlock map tiles. We can buy four. Whoa. Okay, which one should we buy? These three, at least. Uh, you know what? I'll save the other one for later. It's time to build our school. We've got an elementary school and a high school. We have so much money, guys. 1.3 million. We are losing money, but I don't think we're doing that bad. Okay, I'm gonna try something different. Does that look good? No, that looks terrible. What we're gonna do is create a one-way, kind of like roundabout for the school. So you go into this direction, you drive out of this direction, and that's simple to understand for our beautiful citizens who want to go to school. Whoa, look at that. That looks really good. <laughs> oh, we've got upgrades to school as well. We've got a playground we can add. Ooh, we've got some other things. Clinic. I'm not sure we need that. It's more space and activities. Okay, we can add the activities, I guess. Okay, there we go. I added two playgrounds and a clinic because now it's still centered. Whoa, that looks really cool. What a nice school. We add some pavements. 
Perfect. And this is only an elementary school. It doesn't even need a campus. Wow. Okay, hopefully our citizens are going to like that. And hopefully this roundabout isn't all that confusing. We don't have public transportation yet, but otherwise, obviously, we'd have to make sure our citizens can reach this with public transportation. I know there are parking lots, but we don't have them unlocked yet. Look, parking spaces. So I guess... Like, in the future, we can create parking lots over here. And I still have about a million dollars left, so I do think it's a good idea to actually place a high school as well. So we've got the elementary school here, so where is the high school gonna go? It needs to kind of make sense. All right, we got a lot of incoming traffic. Actually, it's not that much. Parking is kind of annoying on this street. Do we have bigger streets? Four lane divided? Four lane one way. What does the divider do? Nothing. Just makes it look a little different. I don't want to mess with it too much. Okay, it's kind of annoying, but we have a huge industrial demand. Oh, that one's ugly. I don't really have enough of the map unlocked to kind of get industrial cities or industrial areas away from the city. So we're just going to have to uh, kind of work with what we got right now. Could potentially make this kind of even too, just like that. Looks a bit weird otherwise. Oh, we got another milestone. Okay, we've got $800,000 unlocked. We're a large bill now, bro. We almost have a thousand citizens. Loan limit? I haven't I haven't used any loans yet. I literally don't know what to do with all the money. We got service budgets, livestock farming, stone mining, for, fire and rescue, fire, polices. I, 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 wow! Okay, we can unlock highways, which I'm gonna do immediately. Whoa, we have so many things, man. I, I, like, like I'm 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 not ready for all of this yet. Parking areas. I will get that. There we go. Point spent. I have two million dollars now. There we go. Just fixing the industrial zoning a little bit. I mean, that looks cool. The last thing we're going to do is... Can you guess it? Can you guess it? Make a high school, guys. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get a high school going. All right. Let's add a little parking area. Oh, that's the wrong way around. Boom. That's not too bad, right? That's not too bad. Now, the question is, where are we going to put that high school? We have uh, a thousand citizens living right about here. A high school needs to be... Like, in the center of a city that we're going to build around. So, I think over here, to be honest. So we're going to do something similar to what we did with the elementary school. But instead, we're going to use a curve. 96 meters to... Ooh, can we do 96 again? 96 meters. Okay, that's... That's really well done. Let's see. How big is our high school? Oh, wow. That's a giant building, eh? There you go. Is that centered? Just about, right? Centered enough, I'd say. No, it's ugly. We're gonna do one more time. Wow, what a beautiful high school. Now, the high school definitely has upgrades. Ooh, what is this? Sports field. Oh my god, look at this, man. That's ginormous. All right, we're just gonna spend all the money on the upgrades. Oh, wow, that is a big school. Now, it's gonna need a parking lot, so there it is. And it's obviously also gonna need pedestrian access. Wow. <laughs> I like our high school, guys. We're gonna name it High School of Greenfield. And to be honest, it is semi-centered on the entire island, which obviously we're gonna fill with houses and tall towers. This is gonna be like New York, guys. Look at that. We added some green roads. We added some crossings. Perfect. How are we doing over here? The city is looking really, really good. It's looking kind of like gray though, you know? Like I wish we could add more epic elements like parks and stuff. Although I don't have any of those unlocked yet. Oh, that's gonna be nice. And I should really make sure to fill everything with trees and bushes and whatnot. Okay, you know what? I'm actually already gonna replace this road now with a highway. Have we unlocked intersections already or can we make them ourselves? City economy, we still we still haven't unlocked intersections that we can buy. Oh, almost though. Do we get that here? Oh my God, bro, we're going through this really quickly, not gonna lie. I'm getting kind of lost. We unlocked more tiles, which I should probably use. Four of them here and two of them here. Wow. Okay, so for the highway, oh! <laughs> Milestone four! Bro, we're going through these like crazy. This is the best city ever. Greenfield's the best. We unlock policies, production panels. I have so many things to go through. Transportation overviews, low rent housing, low density offices, grain farming, forestry, transportation using buses and taxis and parks. Oh my God. And we got four points. I don't know. I guess we can buy more roundabouts. I don't know what to do with all of it. It's too many things. Oh yeah, I definitely need to place uh, police and things, but Oh my god, we can unlock trains! Yes! And water, yes! I was just working on a highway here, although this looks rather stupid, but I thought, why not make a floating highway so we can keep that main road? You see, we haven't built anything along the main road, so a highway will work. 
Hopefully it won't be too much noise pollution though. And you know what? We'll go underground for the cemetery, right? Wow, this looks really, really cool, I guess. Yeah, why not? Why not, right? It's something different. I haven't done this before. I guess we can connect it all up later. Right now, that's not hugely important because we have so much demand. And we're talking high density demand. That's one we haven't seen before yet because we just unlocked that. No, we didn't even unlock it yet. We have the demand, but we don't have an unlock. What the? I don't get it. I there's so many things. We also unlocked the trains. Where am I gonna put a train station? I don't know. We unlocked water things. A cargo harbor. This thing's massive. I didn't know this thing was so massive. Look at my industrial area. And then look at the cargo harbor. Oh my god. You know what, guys? I, I think we've done enough for episode one. If you love this series, I want to see a like on the video. And stay tuned for episode two. It will be there shortly. In that episode, I think we're going to have to add a lot more roads and see how we can make this city even bigger. Thanks for watching. Bye.